in the approach phase. Everything looking good. 1,400 feet still looking very good. Hi, guys. Chaotic Tonic here. You ready to gamble? All right. Well, I'm going to uh, try to help you guys learn how to gamble and, you know, actually win. And high rollers. You could get some money, COD points, whatever. Um, so I'm going to give you some of my basic strategies. I'm actually going to... This is going to be a little series I'm going to do. I'm going to do all the wager matches. I typically win most of my wager matches. So I want to, you know, share some of my knowledge with you guys on how I do it. So, um, yeah, starting off with sticks and stones. Um, I've got a few different things that I do. I mean, a couple of rules that I kind of go by. First rule is don't drop shot. Drop shot normally gets you tomahawked. Pretty much, don't do anything that'll get you tomahawked. Don't let people behind you. Don't drop shot. You know, um, don't stand still. Don't, you know, aim down your scope with your crossbow and you know try to get kills because you're not moving fast enough and people you're just an easy target so don't be an easy target whatever that you know means to do you know some of those things I just said and whatever you think like camping somewhere in a corner those things you don't want to do um second thing if people get too close to you knife them I know it's like pussy move whatever don't worry about what people say I mean you know it's a wager match do what you do do what you got to to win I mean, it, it People get close and you're an easy kill, you know, easy tomahawk kill. You know, tomahawk them or knife them, whatever. Kill them quick. Don't let them tomahawk you, you know. Be the wolf, not the sheep. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Crossbow. Crossbow, always easier to get sticks, open scope. Uh, that sometimes tends to depend on connection, I think. But generally, the rule is open scope with the crossbow when they're pretty close. And don't let them run into you, because, you know, that guy just tried to, and, you know, that'll bankrupt you, obviously. Um, let's see, what else? Let's see here. Ballistic knife, it, it's a good quick kill, you know, if you're good with it, use it. Definitely good. Um, let's see. Alright, here's one of my more, what I feel like is common sense type strategies, but most people don't do. If you're in first place... And someone just shoots a bow, like a cross, uh, crossbow arrow at you, sit on it. You know, let it kill you. Don't let them tomahawk you. And then watch the kill cam. Like, this is particularly like if it's at 30 seconds, you know, to a minute left. You know, waste some time. Especially if you've got a really high lead. You know, that's, I mean, that should be common sense. You, you want the least chance possible of you, you know, your score getting reset. Let's see here, some of the other things that I do. Ah, this guy. Um, ballistic. When you're knifing it, you know, when people are getting close to you, pull out your ballistic knife because you're gonna knife that much faster. Let's see. I think I got a few more things that I do. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really play on a really high sensitivity. I've seen some people try that. I don't think that it works too well for me because it's harder to tomahawk and, you know. Yeah, oh, okay. That's definitely one of my other strategies is the first four minutes of Sticks and Stones just kind of feels like fort play to me. You know, the two minutes is like when you're starting to get hot and heavy, you know, ballistic knives, tomahawks, and, you know, explosions everywhere, whatever. So, for the first four minutes, generally, not particularly this match, but generally, I'll tomahawk a lot. Well, I mean, I, I get my tomahawks in this match off when I can, but, you know, I'll tomahawk a lot to keep other people's score down. That way, you know, you're not gold and you're not number one target. You don't need to be gold the whole match. The first four minutes doesn't really matter. You, you know, just keep other people's score down. Oh, that was awesome. He dolphin died and I, I ballistic, or crossbowed him. Anyway, yeah, keep other people's score down and it'll be that much easier that when the two minutes mark... You know, two minute marks happens that you can just pick up and get get close to first or get you know, get in first. You know, the main thing is stay in top three, but you know, I want you guys to actually win. So oh man, I thought I was gonna get Tomahawk there. But yeah. So Tomahawk when you can the first four minutes, keep their scores down. Uh you know, knife them if they get too close. You know, all these tips are gonna really help you stay alive and not get bankrupted. Uh, you know, obviously bankrupt them so it, you know, their scores are low enough that, you know, you're like under the radar if you stay out of gold for most of the time, and then if their scores are low enough, you come back and you just, you know, wreck and you'll win. And that's pretty much all my most advanced strategies. Uh, don't let people behind you, all that stuff. 
Alright, well, I hope this helps you guys. Let me know if it does. You know, rate, comment, subscribe, like this video. You know, uh, I think this, this should definitely help you win. I'm going to be doing some more. So, um, tell me what you think about it, and tell me what you think I should add in my, you know, one in the chamber and gun game and all that stuff. Um, I hope you like the channel. Subscribe, you know, definitely subscribe to the channel. But yeah, this is Chaotic Tonic, and I'm out, guys. We're now in the approach phase. Everything looking good. 1,400 feet still looking very good.